this is going to be an energy reading for Taurus. If you are a Taurus, this energy reading is going to be for you, love. Okay, 444 is significant. Okay, I see you guys coming into a healthy commitment. Okay, this could be a work collaboration or this could be just someone who wants to work things out with you, work on things. Okay, you could run a business. Okay, Virgo energy could be significant. Something about a new love interest is significant. So maybe it's a little bit of both. It could be love and business. Okay, but let's see. For Taurus, what does Taurus need to know? Okay, someone could be in the business of healing, okay? Or some type of construction is significant. Okay, because I'm hearing that too. Well, let's see. For Taurus spirit, what does Taurus need to know? What asks my higher self, the most high, and the ascended master? It's the heavens and total reading. Alrighty, Taurus, at the top of the deck, it's Taurus, okay? So someone could be looking at the man in the mirror, okay, or the woman. All right, it's kind of giving me like the song Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. Virgo energy could be significant. Okay, this came out for all the earth signs today. So expect some unexpected money, income, or a gift. Okay, I'm also seeing someone being on the rise to success. This could be you. You could be on the rise to success. Okay, maybe your business is flourishing. Okay, or you're going to have a successful relationship. We got emotionally available. You do have someone who's emotionally available in your energy. Okay, behind there is bad health. So someone could be in bad health. This came out for Virgo. Okay, let's see. For Taurus spirit, what does Taurus need to know? Seeing a soulmate union of divine union. Okay, so you could be um, already in connection with your soulmate. Okay, or about to be. Take it however that's for you to 11 on timestamp. We got the letter S. The letter S can be significant. Someone could be short in height. Okay, someone could be dealing with someone who's disrespectful and mean. It could be a copycat. Someone wants to copy you. Copycat. That came out for all the earth signs today too. Okay. Kind of giving a karmic. So let's see. Aries energy could be significant. Someone could have an STD or BV. Okay, that could be why they're in bad health. All right, let's see. For Taurus spirit, what does Taurus need to know? I don't feel like that's you, Taurus. I feel like it's a karmic in bad health. Okay. What does Taurus need to know? We got long hair. Someone can have long hair. Okay, 888 is significant. All right, expect a call, text, communication. Expect communication from somebody who wants to reconcile with you, reconnect. Okay, Gemini energy is behind there. Okay, let's see. For Taurus spirit, what does Taurus need to know? An Aquarius message me, so Aquarius energy could be significant. Okay, someone could have self-sabotaged the connection. Okay, we're graduating here. Someone could be ascending. That's what it's giving. Someone is ascending something. Okay, a painful ending. They're ascending a painful ending. That's the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. Okay, this is someone who's emotionally maturing. Okay, someone wanted someone to be betrayed, stabbed in the back. Okay, um, someone else definitely wants to reconcile, reconnect with you. Okay, Gemini energy came out. Okay, someone's realizing somebody was showing them fake love. Okay, expect to see them soon. Expect to see someone soon. Okay, the letter U can be significant. All right, someone's trying to create a blockage. Okay, when it comes to a love opportunity that's coming in. Okay, you may need to clear your mind and meditate. Okay, maybe even cleanse because there could be somebody in this situation who's trying to sabotage. Okay, by creating blockages. So let's see for Taurus. We got terminated. Someone could have gotten terminated. Okay, from a job. Let go. Move it, you're procrastinating. Okay, this could have been someone who was procrastinating. Or maybe you need to move it, Taurus. You need to move it. You can be procrastinating when it comes to something. Aries energy can be significant. Okay. Thought shit was funny until it wasn't one to come out. Okay, but it didn't. So let's see. Something backfired on someone. 
okay they don't love you they're just using you someone could have found out somebody was being used okay we got leo energy here terminated could be somebody ending something with somebody okay you're going out on a date soon okay you could be dating all right i already dated a new love interest so let's see for taurus what does taurus need to know you guys have we will be together soon so someone plans on seeing you soon okay they plan on being together soon with you okay letting old her go releasing this is someone who's letting old her go releasing okay especially if they were still holding on to the past so maybe there were some things that this person was holding on to when it came to the past it got something to do with them being used okay by someone who didn't love them they were using them wanted to betray them stab them in the back 777 brings about abundance Okay, so someone could be attracting abundance. We got, I found out the truth. Somebody found out the truth. Okay, this is someone who wants to start over, start a new life. Okay, Aries energy is here. All right, on the top of the deck for Taurus, you guys have meeting someone new. You could be meeting someone new. Okay, this one says pull from the Oracle deck. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the Oracle deck. Let's see. I'm going to grab this one. So splitting this deck, we got mask, hidden motives, concealed, disguised, lying. So somebody was masking. This is somebody who broke up with another, okay? Or somebody was lying about a breakup. So flip switch the roll, take out resonates for you. A breakup says walking away, ending, separation is over. No, I feel like, I don't feel like someone was lying about a breakup. I feel like somebody broke up with somebody who was lying. Somebody who was had hidden motives, who was masking. Okay giving this person fake love let's see for Taurus divine intervention is here whatever was built on a faulty foundation is coming crumbling down somebody was dealing with a snake okay deception shady temptation enemy and they're realizing this they breaking up with whoever this snake is okay so trust and divine timing but let's see for Taurus spirit what does Taurus need to know for Taurus spirit, what does Taurus need to know? Yeah, something to do with an ex-lover. At the bottom of the deck, you guys have storm warning, okay? Upheavals, obstacles, wrecking ball, drama. So somebody is with the shits, okay? They want to cause some type of drama, some upheaval, okay? This is someone who's trying to create a blockage. Someone could be re reading between the lines, Okay, it says hidden meanings, vague, speculate, implicit. So somebody could be figuring out something about someone want to start some type of drama or creating upheavals and obstacles. So let's see for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? This could have been something that somebody speculated, like they knew what was going to happen. We got finances, money problems, work, material things, success. Okay, so someone could be focused on their finances. It could be you, Taurus. Okay, but someone you're dealing with could be dealing with financial issues. Okay, let's see. We have travel. Some of you guys might be um, paying to travel, going on a trip, okay, on a vacation. But I'm also seeing someone distancing themselves from someone and setting boundaries from someone. Okay, we got party. It came out in reverse. Someone's definitely not celebrating something. Okay. Or this could be a canceled event. So maybe somebody wants to travel and they might cancel the event because of financial issues. One more. One more. For Taurus Spirit. What does Taurus need to know? We have social media. Social media says spying, online dating, reminiscing, networking. Okay. Someone could have um, found out something about a vacation or something online. Or someone's been reminiscing, looking you up online. Take out resonates for you. We got healing. This is someone who's healing, or this is you. Healing says wounds, improving, mending, progress. At the bottom of the deck, you got faded meeting. This was someone you this was someone you were faded or destined to meet. I cannot talk today. I need to slow down. That's what it is. Okay. We got meant to be, destiny, predetermined, encounter. Okay, unfinished business behind there. It's not over. Patterns, back and forth, baggage. 
Okay, and divine timing, wrong timing, stalemate, perfect timing, waiting, and family is behind there. So somebody could be dealing with a family situation. Okay, this could be an ex that they're dealing with. Okay. Let's see, split the deck. We got the justice card and the three of pentacles. Okay, so I see things balancing out when it comes to your work. Okay. Okay, or someone wants to balance things out, take accountability when it comes to working things out, cooperating with you, collaborating with you. So let's see for Taurus Spirit, Capricorn Energy, Libra Energy. This is someone who sees happiness with you, fulfillment with you. Okay, or whatever it is that you do for work can make you happy. Okay, but there's somebody in their head, they stress, they worried about someone coming towards you. This literally came out for everybody, all all our signs today. Somebody in their head worried. Okay about finding happiness somewhere else and not with him so let's see for Taurus spirit what does Taurus need to know what does Taurus need to know at the bottom of the deck you guys have the justice card Libra energy yeah someone's definitely in their head okay possibly about a court case nine of swords here okay justice card Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So air energy could be significant. Someone lied in court and they're worried about this. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. Someone lied in a court situation and they're worried about this. So let's see. For Taurus, what does Taurus need to know? Whoever this is, they want to deceive another when it came to making healthier choices in love. Gemini energy. Or life. Someone wanted to deceive someone when it came to making healthier choices in life and love. Okay, but someone's definitely going to have a choice, whether this is you or someone else. When it comes to your happiness, what gives you a feeling of belonging? Okay, let's see. For Taurus spirit, what does Taurus need to know? We have the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Someone wanted to betray someone who's independent, successful, hardworking. Okay. Someone definitely want to ruin somebody, stab them in the back, possibly by um, spreading some type of smear campaign. 1010 is here. Someone could be closing out a cycle with someone that maybe at one point they thought they were going to have they happily ever after with. Okay. But then they got betrayed, stabbed in the back, so they chose to become single. For Taurus, what does Taurus need to know? We got the Three of Pentacles here. This is that person who wants to work and collab with you. Okay, especially if they see you to be really self-sufficient, independent. Okay, I also heard uh, self-made. So this person could look at you as someone who's self-made. Okay, an emperor. A divine masculine. Aries energy. We have the justice card here. But there's some legalities that could be stressing them out when it comes to somebody who tried to deceive them. Or this is someone who wants to take accountability for a situation where they were being stressed out by someone who was lying to them. For Taurus spirit, what does Taurus need to know? We got Capricorn, Gemini energy, Pisces energy, heavy Gemini, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <coughs> Someone feels like you would be the healthier choice. You make this person happy. You give them a feeling of belonging. They feel like you're a happy person. Someone could have a sleeve or like a half sleeve. I'm seeing flowers. We got the moon card here. Cancer energy. But something about a secret betrayal or a betrayal that someone was trying to keep secret. This was someone who was trying to create illusions, possibly out of doubts and fears. For Taurus, we got the chariot card here, but someone's moving on from this. They're changing their direction and their focus. Okay, choosing a different path with the two of wands here. Taurus, victory and success. This is someone who's healing. Okay. I'm also seeing a business plan. Okay. Or someone wanting to come in to commit. So let's see. Well, that's to a plan. And we did have moving. You're procrastinating. So someone could be committed to a plan. Now they're trying to move things forward. 
Okay, so let's see. We got the devil card here. Someone's moving on from a karmic. But there's a karmic trying to block this person from moving on. Okay, this could have been a masculine who was working and collabing with a karmic. Maybe they thought this person was independent, self-sufficient. They could be finding out this person is codependent. Because the devil card is about codependencies, addictions, um, the drugs, the alcohol, um, obsessiveness, possessiveness, has blocks, restraints. Okay. There was a karma that was trying to create a blockage to keep someone from moving forward, from moving on. We got the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Whoever they said, they could have really loved this karmic. Add love for this person. That's why they were working and collabing with this person. Okay. Now they're in their head about seeking justice. This came out for Virgo energy. So you might want to check out Virgo's read. Okay. But this is someone who's overthinking a lot about some type of court case. Or worried about some type of court case. 9-11 is here. 18, 11, 10, 11, 11, 10, 6, 1, 1. But something is balancing out. So let's see. For Taurus, what does Taurus need to know? We have the hangman card here. Someone definitely received enlightenment about something that was done in the dark. And we had, um, I found out the truth. So someone found out a truth about someone who was secretly trying to betray them. It's possibly a karma that they were working with, that they were in love with, who they're moving on from to become single. Okay, it could be a karmic that's stressed and worried about this person taking them to court. Okay, because whatever enlightenment they receive, they are surrendering the situation to the divine. They're moving on. For Taurus. We have the Knight of Swords here and keeping their focus. They're trying to stay focused when it comes to the direction that they're going in. A karma could have even confess something to someone. We got the Nine of Cups. When it comes to a wish fulfillment, maybe this karma seen this person as wish fulfillment. But they were masking, possibly masking how it is they feel, suppressing how it is that they feel, creating illusions out of doubts and fears. Now this person is moving on. Someone could drive motorcycles. Someone could own a boat. We got the Six of Swords here. As I say, somebody on a boat, they on a boat. Someone's moving into calmer waters. This could be you or this person who was dealing with a karmic. They can move, be moving into calmer waters. The snake is following them. In this water, it's a snake following them. Okay, but they're moving on from this person, finding fulfillment within themselves as they meditate with the four of swords here. Okay, expect good news because with the queen of cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I'm seeing mutual love. Okay, but someone's trying to deceive someone when it comes to them taking a leap of faith. A third party is trying to deceive someone when it comes to them taking a leap of faith to start a new beginning. For Taurus, what was that? I'm not going to take it, but this is the Knight of Pentacles came out. This song was very hard working, dedicated to the work that they do. Okay, but they're also taking their time when it comes to coming towards you. Okay, this is someone who is making some type of change, turning things around in their favor. Okay, someone could be in their head about the karma that they're going to receive. Especially if somebody's moving on from somebody after finding out something and then they instantly start to receive some type of karma. Okay, Sagittarius energy could be significant. I also see you guys coming into some good karma for Taurus. We got the judgment card here. It's right under the justice card. So someone could de definitely be dealing with legalities. This could be spiritual court. It doesn't have to be um, actual court. This could be spiritual court. Someone making change, turning things around, which is uh, bringing about karma for someone else. Okay, after an ending, this is someone who's going through a change, a transformation, heavy Scorpio energy. 
okay whatever enlightenment that they're that they're receiving is helping them to change to transform to end things with somebody self-reflect go within okay take accountability when it comes to a situation so let's see for taurus we have the fool's card in reverse but something someone that this person ended things with did something foolish Aries energy. We have the Eight of Cups because someone still released and walked away from this person. So whatever foolish thing that this person did, whoever they said that any the things, they still release to this person. They're mentally moving on. They're uh, physically, it's taking them some time to kind of physically move on. So they could have some dealings with this person. It's kind of giving me, because we had um, family. So this could be someone they have a family with, kids with. So they have to deal with this person, but it's like they're mentally moving on. They're emotionally releasing. Okay, they look at this as an ending because someone did something very foolish that changed this person's perspective. Whatever it was, this was something that this person was trying to keep hidden. Okay, about an empress possibly. That's Taurus energy. Okay, let's see. For Taurus spirit, what does Taurus need to know? We have the Magician card. Yeah, someone was dealing with somebody very manipulative. The Magician card in reverse. Virgo, Gemini energy. Someone also could have tried to manipulate a court situation. That's why they're worried. Okay. This could be someone who's losing out financially or they're being left out in the cold. Feeling rejected because someone set boundaries. And that's the truth, truth to clarity. So it looked like somebody tried to manipulate somebody, maybe even manipulate a court case. Whatever was done in the dark is coming to light. Someone's seeing the truth, receiving clarity, enlightenment is helping them uh, to surrender a situation where someone did something really foolish. This could be about lying in a court situation or trying to spread some type of smear campaign about them or you, okay? This could be someone who's in a poverty, you know, in poverty, Feeling rejected, someone set boundaries, Sagittarius energy, Cancer energy, Capricorn energy, and that's the truth. Because whoever they were dealing with was playing mind games, caused confusion, wanted someone to be conflicted about that new beginning, about taking that leap of faith. But they're healing with a star card here. Someone's healing from somebody very manipulative. And whoever this manipulative person is, they're stressed because they're having a tower. They're experiencing upheavals. Okay. They also didn't realize that somebody would receive some type of reality check about them bread crumbing them with the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck a queen of swords gemini libra aquarius okay someone could have used their discernment when it came to a situation and closed this cycle out with the world card here taurus aquarius scorpio leo energy this is someone who's manifesting you okay or they're manifesting healing so let's see for taurus what does taurus need to know this is someone who's also learning their strengths Okay, becoming more confident in self. They're also learning their worth. Someone didn't want this person to know their worth. They didn't want this person to move on. That's also why they're taking their time when it comes to you, coming towards you, Empress. This is someone who wants to make sure like they're fully releasing the situation. But I'm seeing a divine match here. The Emperor and the Empress are both here. This is someone who looks at you as very attractive strong confident courageous okay you could be birthing new ideas this was you could be working on too with the knight of pentacles right under the um empress you could be birthing new ideas working hard and diligently towards these new ideas okay this could be someone who's business minded as well very loving they definitely are emotionally available to you for taurus what does taurus need to know we got the world card and they're closing out a cycle with somebody very manipulative okay this is someone who had to do some shadow work okay and learn a lesson with the horrific card here taurus energy to help them when it came to their healing journey and make some type of change also to manifest what it is that they want but they had to i feel like better understand who they were given to and investing in and whoever they were given to and invested in is being exposed okay so this could have either been a business partnership where this person got breadcrumbs okay maybe they thought this person loved them this could have been a business partnership turned love or they love somebody and tried to build something with somebody 
a business and they found out this person was just trying to breadcrumb them emotionally financially okay let's see for Taurus we got the two of pentacles but whatever enlightenment reality check that they received this lesson that they're learning is helping them to find balance we got the six of cups in reverse but somebody was did something unforgiving. It landed on top of the Eight of Cups, which I like to hear, okay? Which means they're releasing, letting that hurt go, like letting that old hurt go. So if somebody did something unforgiving to them, they're letting that old hurt go. Okay, that could be another reason why they're taking their time. Maybe they don't wanna take it out on you when it comes to whatever it is that hurt them. They're releasing the past. This is someone who's learning how to protect their energy okay as they soul search as they go within okay king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn king of wands aries leo sag this is someone who was overthinking a lot in their head because of an illusion that was created by a breadcrumber so this masculine they could be an entrepreneur a businessman that's what i'm seeing this could be you taurus okay you could be an entrepreneur a businessman or woman because i'm seeing both here okay but this is a masculine though a masculine energy who's going within about some type of illusion that was tried that someone tried to place over them. Gemini, Scorpio energy. This is someone who was breadcrumbing them. Queen of Swords behind there. It could be an ex. This could be an ex-wife or some. Okay. But it, it's helping them to choose a different path as they soul search, as they go within. 222 two, two is significant. 25, 23. Okay. This is someone who learned something. They did their research and they educated themselves. That's how they received this reality check. So it's kind of giving me like someone went and did their research about whoever this was that was keeping secrets. And they learned something out of this experience. So let's see for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? We got the Eight of Swords here. They could have learned that someone was trying to create blockages by getting them locked up. Or they could have learned that someone was creating blockages by trying to manipulate them. They could have learned that somebody was trying to create blockages to have them in their head. Okay. They're becoming disillusioned, though, with the Five of Cups here. It could be sadness and disappointment. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone who has romantic feelings for you. I feel like right now they're moving in silence because they still need to clear their mind of things. Especially if they were dealing with somebody who was causing a lot of confusion, trying to sabotage them. Okay, we got the two of swords here. Someone made a blind decision to betray somebody with the eight of swords and the ten of the eight of swords and the two of swords and the ten of swords. So someone made a blind decision. Ten ten is here. So this is a heavy betrayal. This could have been someone who betrayed them. Like they seen happiness and fulfillment with them. Like they thought it was gonna be a dream come true, and then it turned a nightmare. They could have tried to stuck it out with this person, work on things with this person. But started to find out this person had a lot of secrets. Okay. Was creating illusions. But I feel like whoever this karmic is, they did some type of blind betrayal. Like they they weren't even focused. Like they they weren't thinking straight when it came to trying to betray somebody. Someone also could have been blind to the fact that somebody was trying to betray them. But now they're seeing the truth. They're seeing more clearly about somebody who um possibly was trying to stall a situation by spreading gossip and rumors or um you know speaking ill will about this person okay let's see for taurus what does taurus need to know you guys have the three of swords in reverse this is someone who feels like they were being gaslit okay but they're still recovering from heartbreak so i feel like that's the reason why they're taking their time to come towards you because if they were holding on to unforgiveness, they're still releasing that. They're still um, healing the heart space. Okay. This is someone who feels like they were blind to a lot of things. That they were gaslit. That they were betrayed. They were stabbed in the back. Somebody was creating blockages. They could even be worried about a court case for some. Okay. But I do see this person healing. But the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. Whoever this is, they want to reconcile with you. Okay, for some, this could have even been a friend. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer Energy, Capricorn Energy, who was creating illusions about a marriage, a union, um, someone you lived with, uh, someone in your community that they wanted to have victory and success with, who, who was attention that they wanted, but they ended up getting left out in the cold and rejected 
this person set boundaries with them and that's the truth, truth to clarity. At once they seen the truth that somebody was playing mind games, someone could be in despair too, whoever this is that was playing mind games, okay? This could be somebody else's ex, okay? If it wasn't a friend, this could have been somebody else's ex, a third party, okay? It was trying to breadcrumb this person when it comes to a relationship, but they're breaking a generational curse. They're also realizing somebody was trying to control someone from stepping into their divinity. So someone didn't want someone to step into their divinity. That's crazy. They still learn the lesson, getting connected to the most high. They still healing. So I feel like whatever manipulation magic or control magic that this person tried to do, it ain't do nothing but uh, backfire for this person. Because all it did was give this person a reality check. It woke this person up. It had them become disillusioned about this game that this karmic was trying to play. Someone could have been celebrating a little too fast because we had party in reverse. Somebody could have been celebrating a little too fast when it came to trying to defeat somebody. Because they still, they still ended up healing. This got something to do with you. Especially with the faded meeting here. Meant to be, destiny, predetermined, encounter. Maybe you showed this person something different. Which really opened their eyes to whoever it was that they were dealing with. And this could be somebody, an ex that they were dealing with that they have family with. Okay, or someone that they see as family. Yeah, a lot of disappointment. This person is still trying to get out of their head about. So I would give it time. Trust in divine timing. But anyway, that is the energy reading for Taurus.